50 years ago. And this is a big problem. So why I'm showing this with a pizza and with this uh, uh, shrimp is that uh, it's a superficial phenomenon, the transform fault. That means there's no warning time. There are warning systems for earthquakes in Japan when there's a signal of the primary wave and you can stop gas lines, the metro and so on, we don't have this kind of advantage here at all. This goes through Quito. Here we are right now exactly here. Okay? And the fault is this way and this way and so on and so on. Here's another exit volcano, here's my university here in the, in the valley. And here's another uh, volcanic complex of five volcanoes of which one is uh, active and four are not active. So uh, uh, the faults you can see here, they go through the city, here's the city. And here's a new airport. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here a little bit about the systematic I was saying. Now this is not counting that much because these are not earthquakes which happened here in Quito itself. They were been felt here, there was damage here, but they were very far from here. And this is the 1987 uh, earthquake close to a volcano called Reventador. Now you may think we have the best yeah. civil engineers and architects here in Ecuador okay. of the world because they built wherever. <laughs> but this is criminal and they don't follow the rules. We have a, a seismic code and they don't follow it. Just to give you an, an idea, uh, here is an intersection from the valley to the city. We are very close, we are somewhere here. Here is the hotel, you can look to this. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the highway collapsed in 2000. Mm -hmm. It collapsed because we are built up here on, on ashes. There is no rock here, there is no lava. Everything is on pyroclastic material. Wow. So it collapsed. It just collapsed, like this. And then, you know what they did? They made a tunnel. So, Ooh. from the worst to the, to the even worse. Okay? <laughs> uh, and the tunnel is somewhere here. And you can see here, this, this is not even elastic, this bridge, and, and so on and so on. So, and they put here some cement in order to restrain that these people can build high and high yeah. and so on. The other thing is, you have another uh, hazard here, which I should not refer to, but still. Uh, some two months ago, crashed here another air airplane, like on the corner here, and this was like the fifth uh, airplane in the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. There's fog here, and not, nobody can see something. This is exactly the root mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, plane. Okay. And so on. But anyway, yeah. what's going to happen? And this is a problem. This is a picture from El Salvador in 2001 from the big earthquake, uh, mm -hmm. 7.1, with 800 people died. Mm -hmm. Is as I say always, as Richter said, earthquakes do not kill people; collapsing buildings do. And there are other secondary effects like these landslides due to uh, the um, uh, uh, earthquakes which kill people. And this is a similar photo I could take here very close to our university because this is the same material and almost the same view like in El Salvador. Saying or implying that the same what happened there can happen here in a worse manner. This from Japan, this also, and this you know, mm -hmm. Kobe 95. And uh, this is some of the issues uh, we uh, check now, the assessment resistance of, of bridges and buildings and so on. We do a big work now here because people are more and more aware that they need to <coughs> and they need to prevent it. Bless you. This is Taiwan. Um, the uh, uh, center of the building was made by uh, trash. They saved a lot of money at that time and they lost everything afterwards. This building is seismic resistant, just in case. Seismic resistant meaning that it's going to uh, bound, but the uh, uh, outer parts, as you know, they are not that safe. That means you're going to have a lot of problems with the uh, with the glass, with nose, and stuff like this, and even with the uh, uh, cover of the of the building. But the building is not going to collapse. This one is one of the very less which are safe. When I talk about very less, I should give you some some data. I made a, a study in 2004. We made also and we made many many things. You know, so I can give you always some 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 more input. Uh, not now. Maybe in the bus. The um, we have a very good seismic code, but nobody follows it. So in 2004, we, I found out that um, less than 0.2% of the buildings in Quito are seismic resistant. Less than 0.2%. 99.8, and this number is decreasing because we build more and more, but not seismic resistant. Because so it's more expensive. No, it's not. This is the joke. People don't get it. But every civil engineer and every architect will tell you, oh, I have to do something special, so I have to, uh, to, to charge you more, which is a lie. It's, it's a lie. Now, people are aware of this. They give many conferences to, to high levels, and they save money building seismic resistant. 
so do I. At this right moment. This is from India. Uh, unofficially, 100,000 people who died. And I always say to mm -hmm. my students and to all the conferences, this could be you. Mm -hmm. This is a picture from BAM. Uh, one year before the tsunami accident was on the same day in Iran and uh, a big earthquake. Now this you know, and here a little bit uh, the same overview like before. Here's Quito. We're going to drive uh, today uh, down to the valley. We're going to pass a few very nice volcanoes. Here are some of them, and here are some of them. And then we're going to go up here to the northern part and see some stuff here of the uh, last destructions. Oh. And the last landscape here, please. Please interrupt me whenever you want, okay? Sorry. What causes the valley then? Why on the east and the west do we have all this okay. activity? This is another conference, but I will give you a very short explanation. Uh, what we think happened here is the following. When you take plastiline and you put it between two forces, whatever it is, okay, and, and you have compression, then you should have compressive faults. It's normal, it's logical. But at the same time, when you compress, the same stuff gets up there and extends. And this is what we think. It's extension dynamics through compression. Now, what I explain is always uh, the following fact. Um, everybody has done a hot dog in, in his or her life. Okay? So you know what I'm talking about when I t tell you. You take a, a piece of bread and then you cut it in half. Then you have two halves. And then you put some ketchup and mayonnaise and so on. And then you put the uh, sausage. And then you close it. Let's call it like it's closed. And then you want to take a bite. And what happens is... Then the sausage gets out, mm -hmm. and, and it's on the bottom, and the dog eats it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens usually. And this same thing happens here, right now here. You know that uh, we have extensional dynamics so between Africa and South America since more than 125 million years when they got separated. Now, here's Africa, and here's South America. So in the Atlantic, we have a divergent plate boundary. That means South America goes towards west. Okay. At the same time, we have here the Nazca plate, which goes to... To the, uh, to the east. In between we have the Caribbean plate, which is the sausage. So this escapes towards there. Now here, exactly here, this is the Caribbean plate, so this is sausage, which is pressed by these two forces, and this goes up there. So at the same time, we have here, exactly here, in fact, here, mm -hmm. we have a transform fault boundary, and uh, at the same time we have this kind of thing, so it, we have an escape mechanism, a compressive mechanism and extension mechanism at the same time. Oh, and therefore we can see all the nice faults here very close by in Quito with my students. I just go around Quito and we see fantastic stuff. And today also. So um, you're going to see some of the very nice things. So Cotopax is one of the volcanoes we're going to see today. We have many more. We have uh, here from Quito. This could be also almost a, 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 we are right now here somewhere. Uh, this is the volcanic complex of, uh, of Pichincha. And we have the a dome activity of volcano called crystal, a crystal volcano. Okay, so when people tell you here in Quito, almost everybody in Ecuador, there are only two volcanoes. One is called Guagua Pichincha, the one is called Ruco Pichincha. This is not really true. There are five, and uh, the uh, the one which is active is this part here. They have been so much um, active that it was taken uh, to manipulate the whole public here, as we have had the worst. Uh, economic crisis in 98-99 as, uh, as an issue that this was more important than to talk about the other stuff but about this or some other way. So uh, we have had a very nice explosion, this one, which could be seen from everywhere. Uh, two days before there was another explosion which